Art in the Dark. The psalmist wrote, I will sing and make music. One morning after Daddy's funeral, when I was back home again, I found myself lost and sorrow during my prayer time, staring mutely at the wall. Reliving events of the preceding week and the many acts of kindness shown to our family, I suddenly wished for a way besides a card to express my gratitude to my parents, pastor, and a few extraordinarily helpful neighbors. I decided to make personalized handmade gifts for each of them. While working on the gifts the next several days, I found that instead of being lost in sorrow, I was caught up in prayerful creativity. My mood improved dramatically, and by the time I took my offerings to the post office, I felt deeply comforted. Now I recall this incident each time I read Psalm 57, written while its author was hiding in a cave, fearing for his life. David the shepherd, the warrior, the king, was also a poet and a musician. Doubtless, his song in the dark provided peace and reassurance to him, and now it does the same for us. It also reminds us that we all possess some creative ability in music or handicrafts, in homemaking or business that we can consecrate to God and use for the good of others. When we employ these skills, especially as we suffer through crisis and loss, we may find ourselves surprisingly encouraged. Dear Lord, help us to use our talents to bless others even when we are hurting. Amen.